Internally displaced persons sheltering at Ndabagona IDP camp in northwestern Tigray say they are living miserable life amid hopes of returning home. The IDP say they were displaced from my every town and surrounding areas following the eruption of the second round of war in Tigray in late August of 2022. Mimi Gavrehewat is one of the IDPs who have been suffering the dreadful consequences of the war and displacement. She says her displacement has become never-ending as she was displaced twice so far. The Amhara forces killed my brothers in the district of Volkait, my Cha'a locality. I fled the area to save my life and moved to Maitsabri with four of my children. When we started living in Maitsabri town, the Amhara militants would intimidate us to leave the area immediately, reiterating that they didn't want to see any ethnic Tigrayan in the area. Then we moved to Indabaguna again, and we are enduring terrible hunger and other inconveniences here. Berhan Guse is another victim of the repeated displacements and expulsions by the Amhara militants. He says life has been tough for him and his family, as they are forced to live in a room that is packed with dozens of IDPs at Indabaguna town. We were first displaced from Maitz Abre to Shira in 2020, and we lived there getting food aid from residents of Shira town and aid agencies. Then, when the Amhara forces left Maitsabri in June of 2021, we returned home and found empty house. As the Amhara forces had looted everything in the house, we tried to restore our lives buying some properties with the little money we had, and we started to work hard to make our living. But the second round of the war broke out, and the Amhara forces recaptured Maitsabri. They started to summarily execute civilians and forcibly expel ethnic Tigrayans. We left our home for the second time empty-handed. The IDPs reiterated their distress and called on both parties into the peace agreement to remain committed to the implementation of the pact and return them home so that they would regain their normalcy. <laughs> Our brothers were killed there, but if our security is assured, we want to go back home and restore our lives. We want to work and lead our life instead of being quarantined here. There are 30 people living in this room. It doesn't even have latrine. You step on sleeping people when you want to go out to urinate at night. There is shortage of rooms. People here are suffering from hunger and illness. You hear everybody coughing in the evening. There is high suffocation. All this is happening because of the invaders. So now we demand the invaders to leave our land. We want to go home and work to support our family.